Hello everyone, my name is Comet and today I want to share with you the best supports to climb if you are in iron, bronze and silver. These are characters that I have used myself in my own climb and also characters that I have seen other people use, whether it is streamers, youtubers or other people that want to climb as fast as possible. These are some of the characters that they use, so let's begin. Let's begin with the most traditional type of support that you can pick in League of Legends. For all of you that want to learn the role at its absolute core, I have for you Seraphine, a character that has shields, a character that has heals, a character also that has a lot of damage, wave control, crowd control, and overall, um, area effects that you can use on the enemies but also on your allies so this is a character that you are going to be able to use to support your allies for shields and heals because she can do both in fact let me show you just right quick she can do both at the same time just like that it's amazing for helping your allies but also It's really good to attack the enemies as well and especially her abilities being in an area will help you um, control the waves if needed as well. Just like that. So if you want to learn the support role at a very um, core level, especially as an enchanter, Seraphine is for you because this is a character that you can pick from iron all the way to the very high levels. In fact, at the moment, it has been um, picked quite often into Diamond and Master, then Master and Challenger, due to how easy she is at getting advantage in lane and how safe she is, because considering that you can uh, do a lot of damage while shielding and healing your allies, this is a character that um, you can use to simply get yourself ro uh, get yourself going into these roles. They will actually mention how Blitzcrank is amazing because he can use his Q to pick up targets. But what if I told you that you have the same target um, picking potential with more tankiness, more crowd control and more damage? Yep. That is Nautilus for you. Nautilus is a, a, a better Blitzcrank in every single way of the world. Really, this is the character that you want to be picking if you want to carry your games as hard as possible without relying on your team. Because usually in lane, you will have enough powers um, to burst an, an enemy um, as like it's nothing while your AD carry... Um, can clear up the fight. With Blitzcrank, you just have to rely on a good Q. And that's about it. You don't you don't really do anything else. But this is not the case with Nautilus. Nautilus actually has more depth than this. Because, for example, a play that is very common is Flash R. The person will flash. Let's say that the person will um, flash and they will be just right here. But because they got CC'd, you got enough time to catch up to that person and continue dealing damage to it. And for these reasons and much more, if you want to play Blitzcrank, don't fall into that bait. It is a character that is completely worthless once you get out of um, the lower levels such as iron, bronze and silver, it might work still into one out of 100 match where you make this one pick. But how about the other 99 matches? Maybe we want to win those matches uh, as well, you know, and because of this reason, Nautilus is better, especially because once, once you reach gold, man, as soon as you pick, now, uh, as soon as you pick, um, Blitzcrank, you are gonna have a Leona in your lane, a Nalistar in your lane, a Nautilus or Thresh in your lane, and boom! You lose lane because you cannot do anything against them, especially a Swain. Swain is very 
very powerful into Blitzcrank. But that's not the case into Nautilus. After all, there is, a, there is a reason why Nautilus is one of the most picked supports in professional play. So, give Nautilus a try if you want to really climb and learn the role as hard as you can and do not fall for the Blitzcrank bait. Next is a character that I have used for years to get out in the lower levels or to climb once a provisional time comes because this is a character that simply when you learn how to use her no one in the lower levels knows how to play against Leona in fact on my road to gold that I did uh, here on the channel I did not lose a single match of my provisionals and until I reach gold on my support account because she is just so powerful to do everything if you learn how to layer your CC, people will be stunned for years, literally. And you can actually do a lot of AOE damage and crowd control as well. Like, this is a character that if you want to kill someone in a fight and win the fight by yourself as a support, you must learn how to play if you are in iron, bronze and silver. In the lower, in the higher levels, however, um, she will transition really well, especially once you reach gold. So this is not a character that will just fall off like other supports um, that, that people recommend in the lower levels. This is a character that you can continue picking um, until gold, platinum, even emerald. And then only once you feel um, like she's starting to, to maybe lack a few other stuff, you can play probably rel. And hey, do the same thing because they're kind of the same character. But Leona is a character that you can just come. DC someone for days. And they will not be able to move. Because as soon as you finish your rotation, you have your abilities again. You know? Just like that. And this is something that I get on my games as well a lot. Um, people tend to tell me, I cannot even move, man, or be in luck for like five straight seconds and without doing anything. And this is, this is really a thing because, uh, let, let me show you, let me regenerate all of my mana. Let me show you how much you can uh, lock someone for. So first off, boom, boom, boom. And now they become available to move. But not anymore. Now they can move again. Nope, not anymore. Now they can move. Nope, not anymore. So yeah, this is a character that it's just perfect if you really want to learn how to truly carry as a support um, in the lower levels. This is the way to do it because engage characters, it's really the way to go. Um, especially because everyone is playing the Blitzcrank and Leona hard counters Blitzcrank like there's no tomorrow. Um, and I will tell you, I will show you exactly how. If you get hooked by Blitzcrank or a Nautilus or a Thresh, let's say that this is the Thresh or Nautilus or Blitzcrank, and this is the AD carry, you jump on the AD carry and he's there. <laughs> really, you know? Bye bye, AD carry. Just like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely give a try to Leona because there's no one better than her to carry you out of um, the lower levels. And and this is this is my personal pick. This is what I used to climb in the lower levels because it's so easy, man. Like it's so easy to do this. Look, CC, 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 AOE. Oh, you want to run? Nope. More CC. More CC. <laughs> there we go. This is really the beauty of Leona, you know. Um, just make sure to not jump into five people alone. Um, because, hey, she's tanky and she's very OP. But sometimes, you know, we have limitations. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, for now though, thank you guys so much for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed this list. Um, I gave you a bit of everything, you know, I gave you a better Blitzcrank, an Enchanter, and the best Engage support that you can have. But also, she works as a Disengage support. Let me show you. If I refill my mana, and I put, let's say, this is your AD carry, this is the jungler. You can just come, boom. <laughs> and look. When the when the when the CC ended, I was already here. <laughs> so, oh, the jungle is coming! Boom! Look, look how much distance I can get. And not only this, you can do this. Boom! And when the CC ends, you are back to tor back in turret. You know. So yeah, this is disengage engage support. Really powerful. And the only things that could counter Leona, um, people do not play those in the in the lower levels. So you should not be careful at, about those at all because people will not know. And if you have problems, however, this is a recommendation that I have. If you have problems getting poked by a Lux, let's say this one is Lux, and this is the carry, jump on Lux and kill her, man. Do not be afraid. Look, look how much damage I managed to do. You see? Boom. Don't move, bitch. This, this is the beauty of Leona. She can do so much uh, for you and your team that you will really uh, be grateful um, for picking her. So, the queen of the supports for the lower levels, she is by far the most reliable way to climb. And I can tell you this because I've been using her probably for like seven years. And even even today, or, or even more actually, even today, after taking a very long break from League of Legends, um, I used her again. And I went undefeated until gold. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is really the way, like... There is just no better carry in my eyes than her for the lower levels. And not only this, you will be able to transition really nicely uh, in the higher levels to other characters because her playstyle is very similar to Rakan. She is the same champion as, as Rael. Um, you can also um, go into Nautilus because they're quite parallel, you know. Uh, both like to be in the face of the enemies. So... Yeah, and uh, pick Leona, I guarantee you that she is going to be worth it. Learn how to play her, and you will have a companion for a lifetime. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Comet, and I hope you enjoyed this list. I am signing out. Peace.